Ani Adieu Moses is a speaker, coach, and certified etiquette and employability skill expert with over seven years of management experience working in consulting, investment, banking, and corporate communications within and outside Nigeria. You're welcome. Thank, Thank you. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. We don't have a lot of time, so we need to quickly run. Now we've been discussing education. And education as we know it, a lot of people just hear education and they feel, oh, it has to be the force of classroom. the classroom and all of that. We had to bring you into this conversation so people can see alternatives. Because we know that educate, education actually transforms lives. lives. So in your field, you know, with what you do, soft skills and all of those, what would you think would be a solution, you know, when it comes to life transformation and nation building? as it pertains to education. Okay, um, so when we think about education, it's good to think outside the four walls of a classroom. Um, and, and it tends to start to form when um, an individual is a child. So you're looking at the cognitive, you're looking at social skills, you know, what's their emotional bearing like? Imagine if you're taking, I know a lot of people do common entrance early, for example, and you're taking a nine-year-old um, into secondary school, but their emotional well-being may not cater to that or may not be well-suited for that. Um, so it's good to know that every child advances at different rates and different paces, um, but the base for education starts from the home. So really, how are your children learning? How are they problem solve solving? How are they, what's their ability to reason? Um, the four walls of the classroom, as we are taught over here, we're taught to learn and regurgitate. We're not taught to assimilate, to understand, be to comprehend, be aware. aware. You know, you know. There's, you know, we're taught formulas. So, question A plus A must be that. You know. Meanwhile, A plus Z may actually come to the right answer in your own words, the way that you articulate it. Um, so, I think it's important that we start to think and we start to know that, you know, it's 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 a, it's holistic and it's intrinsic and each child um, you know does advance at a different pace awesome mm. awesome <laughs> ladies you don't have questions okay well no I? because okay. we've been talking about education thing and I completely agree that you know it's time it's about time we take it outside of classrooms because basic skills for instance I am I primary school, university, um, nursery school, everything was inside Nigeria. And I know like half the things I was taught in school, yeah. I'm not using it. Absolutely. A lot of things I'm using both in my career and I, I had to go on Google and learn it and I learned a lot of these things from TV. So quite frankly, I, I completely agree with everything you've said about soft skills. But then the question now is how to get it into the schools. I mean, we had Ogechi and she was talking about the fact that teachers are not so equipped. So what are you, or let's say your organization, doing to, you know, all the things you've listed out, the soft skills, what is your organization um, doing to, you know, put it out there in schools? Okay, so the way to look at the problem is analyze it and say, where is the future of work going? Because you spend very little time in school and more of your years on earth probably working mm -hmm. if you're not an academic. The technical skills, I'm a banker, I learn it on the job. Digital skills can be learned as well. Where do I learn to code? Where, you know, an app developer, a web developer, soft skills has to do with a lot of personal development. A lot of people are waiting for their employer or their organization to tell them, go and do this training or go and do that training. It's not before you get to your organization when you're 27 that you learn how to public publicly speak or you learn about your nonverbal graces or gestures. These are things that are learned, you know, in the entirety of your life during your different phases and stages. So what do we do as an organization? We help to equip people with these skills. And I'll give a very simple analogy. Neka and Chioma are both level one officers in a bank. And mm -hmm. appraisal period comes. They're both good at their jobs. You know, technically they're sound. Digitally they're sound. But only one person can move up to the next ladder. Now, mm -hmm. what are those skills that I look for? I like to say soft skills are what's, what gives you the X factor. They're not okay. tangible. You can't 
hold them. They're intangible. They're skills that grow at them. They, they, you improve on, the, on them over time. Um, so you'll be doing yourself a, a huge detriment if you're only starting to develop those skills later on in life. And so that's where we come in and we help to equip individuals and organizations um, with these skills. Okay, so how receptive are schools to this? To how receptive are parents? To this. Okay. Do you think that like you feel like are ready for you're this? from planet one? Yeah. <laughs> it, is, it is quite a new concept, um, but they are receptive. They're receptive for children, you know. Um, so, our children market, you, parents typically want to do um, mm. anything for their children. But the market where we have the greatest reach is the graduate market because that's the market you realize. Thank you. Oof, don't have it. It's almost too late for me. I'm okay. now you know, in the job market, trying to find a job. Mm -hmm. I have a 2-1. Why is it not working out for me? And then you start to realize maybe there are certain things that I lack. I can't, I don't know how to conduct myself in an interview. Mm -hmm. I interviewed a gentleman recently who walked in um, to the interview in a business suit without a pair of socks. That's not something that's written anywhere. That's part of your personal um, development, you know. So what we're saying is for us to holistically look at education, we must not look away from this soft skill. Absolutely. You have to, because when I hear people saying, oh, education, education, when you go to the Western world, my, I remember when someone very close to me went to the UK for her master's for the first time. This was somebody that almost graduated with the first class. I've right. said this story before somewhere. Mm. She broke down crying, mm. not because she wasn't brilliant, but because they had to force her to learn a different way that she was used to learning, yes. which is cram and go and just regurgitate. I had that so she had to start with. using her mind. And for what you do, you try to help people to see, open their mind, expand your mind, to see beyond just what it, what's available. Absolutely. So, yeah, you so know, I, I am saying that we, we, we really don't have much time. Okay. But for us to solve this problem, if I hear you correctly, we're saying that, yes, when we have the... The, the four walls of the, the schools to do all the academics yes. and all of those. Mm. For us to solve this problem, we must also start from the home and start to build all the soft skills. Because Absolutely. a lot of people, when they hit a rock, they don't know how to solve problems. Mm. So they just break down. So you see, that's where people go and they, they don't, they, they are not creative. <laughs> that's why everybody jumps on the bandwagon. If this is what is going, everybody, everybody moves to that direction. Yeah, so, so people yeah. are not able to think outside the box. Sorry. So, um, because we don't have so much no, time. No, no. <laughs> well, the, uh, at what age do you advocate? That so we to like start? to say, um, start as, as young as your children can start to pick, pick things up. Yeah. Um, you mentioned a very good point, outside the walls of a formal education system, mm. but start when children can pick things up. We like to say we start at six because then they can reason a little bit, they can write to a moderate level. Mm -hmm. um, so we'll advise from six. But I mean, okay. again, children advance at different ages. So we'll say, you know, start. Study. You know, when you think your child knows. Yes, yes. Study. Okay. Okay. On the last, last note, are we taking this now seriously to the government to say, you know what, beyond your academics, can we in introduce this as part of the, the curriculum. The curriculum, because um, Ogechi kept hammering on curriculum. Yes. Can we include this in the curriculum? Like a course called yeah. soft yes, skills. That okay. we have to. Are it's a conversation that, that, that we are talking that has started. Awesome. It, it, the narrative has to change. The outdated mm -hmm. curriculum has to change. Mm -hmm. um, but the conversation has started. We would also like to see that you know what? Yes, you are teaching core subjects, but how are you teaching? What's the model? What's the style? How are you accommodating? And that's where Taiwo comes in. I about even think I even think the, the form of examination should, should change. change. We've done the yes. same thing over and over again. And yes. it's not, it's not working. Given, and we're not solving problems. Exactly. Half the question, I answered, sorry, half the questions I answered in this school, I don't even remember them. I Lucky. crammed and just offloaded it. Okay, so we are officially exactly. out of time. <laughs> We're sorry you couldn't take your SMS. You couldn't take my yeah, last we'll take everything. Minute. We'll continue the conversation on Next social week. media. Okay. Yeah. And, um, don't forget, hashtag Hashtag ways. Catch us live. Um, tomorrow we'll be here, 8 p.m. sharp. So uh, we'll see you tomorrow. Bye. <laughs>